Okay, so when you play it, it, it goes. Um, okay, so oh, there it is. Shortcut B and N for timeline, beginning and end. <laughs> so at this timeline, I'm gonna hit B to begin, and maybe right here I'm gonna end it. So what is it? N. So notice now all this stuff is grayed out. And when I play it, it'll only play that part. Okay. Now if you hit Command Y, this will give you a new background. Let's say my new background color is uh, light green. And I hit OK. So now I have a light green background. If you don't remember that shortcut, you can also hit Control click on the composition area. And then go to New and then Solid. Okay. Now there's three things that you need to do uh, in this tutorial, it, like to experiment with. One is the solid, one is a text, and one is the shape layer. And I'm going to just choose a shape layer for now to show you guys how to do this. So I'm going to do a snowman. So I'm going to do click here for one, and it's not going to be black. See the top fill? By the way, isn't it cool that you can like make your designs? Remember I said that Illustrator is kind of like Illustrator plus like Premiere or a video uh, making a software program? plus Flash combined together. So it's a very useful tool. So there's a lot of like familiar Illustrator functions in here. So I can double click Fill, and let's say I want this guy to be like light orange. Okay? And then you, want, you make, make sure you name every layer, right? So control click, rename, and I'm gonna call this like his head. And then again, we're gonna make a new layer and then maybe my snowman is going to be two or three. You can choose. But because of time, I'm just going to put two. Oh, he won't even look like a snowman. Put two. OK, and then this one, I'll put middle. And then control new shape. And then this one's going to be his body or his Uh, bottom. Okay, so now we have our snowman. Now the directions say that um, I want you to make him as a side angle. Okay, so a side angle would mean his eye, he had, you would see like one eye or one and a half eye. Now what does he have as for a nose? Right. Yeah, and we can use the pen tool to make that. Remember the pen tool? So we can hit the pen tool, hit click, 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 and click. And what color is, the, is that? Orange. Yeah. So there is his nose. And notice the stroke, you can change the stroke. And um, down here is where you can change it as well. So I'm going to just leave it to be consistent. And so now we have our nose and the snowman. Now let's say I want the snowman to be moving to the... Oh, I need an I too. So let's make an I. And we'll do one more. Um, actually, I'm going to use the brush tool. Remember the brush tool? And So I'm going to make a little arm for him. OK. And then maybe I'll make one more arm here. OK. And so maybe later I would make like a hat for him or something. Like he could take off his hat, or he could be doing something with his arm or hand. Um, that's up to you, what you want to choose. So let's say I want to move this guy. Now it would be very tedious to like select each layer and to, to make the changes to have him move across the screen. So instead, I would select all of the layers except the background layer. And then I would click on what to move? P for position. You're going to hit one of the stopwatches and notice all of the stopwatches started. So I'm going to move my timeline maybe to three seconds because he's in a hurry to get to lunch. Move him off the screen. And ta-da, we're done. So now if I scrub back and hit pause, 
our snowman will move off the screen like that. Um, what, what you can do is you can select, notice how I'm selecting. Notice I can move these over. So then it goes over. <laughs> but I missed some of my timers down here. So I want to do those as well, these two. So I select my keyframes. Come on, guys, keyframes. That's what they're called. And so now I can scrub it over. So now I have this, a few seconds to play with before he moves off the screen. New text. So maybe for my text, I'm going to put in how's it. I notice the green isn't a very good color. So on the right, you can change all your uh, colors. I'm going to change that to maybe to black. OK. I'm going to use my selection tool. Maybe I can use a speech bubble to say how's it. And let's say I want my how's it to like um, appear you know, as it goes. So if I wanted to appear, what would I use? Which oh, opacity. opacity? So hit O. So I would start that out at zero, right? Opacity. Okay. So if you want to make the how's it appear. You're going to hit the stopwatch, or first of all, make it to zero. OK, now it's disappeared. Hit the stopwatch. Move my marker maybe one or two seconds. Go to my opacity, and then type in 100. Hit Enter, and it's back. So now when I scrub over it, it says, how's it? OK, and then my guy is going to disappear like that. Oh, it's a little <laughs> off. So I'm going to have to fix him. Um, Anchor point. Do you guys remember anchor point? What is anchor point associated with? Rotation. Because if you're going to rotate something, let's say you're going to rotate your head. What, what decides how it's going to rotate? Your what? Your head. Yeah. Yeah, Roland got it. Your neck. So your neck is kind of like your anchor point to decide where your head goes. Now, if, you're, if your neck was on top of your head instead of below your head, obviously that would be a different anchor point, right? So that's why if you want to change your anchor point, that's how you do it. So let's say we want to change our nose. Okay, so we're going to change the nose. There's our nose. Okay. So let's say we want to rotate our nose. So what I'm going to do is click on the position and <laughs> and what is anchor point? A, right? So I'm going to click on anchor point, and then I'm going to place the anchor point where it is. Where is the anchor point right now? It's right in the middle. You can't really see it very well because it's being covered up, but it's right in the middle. If you want to move the anchor point, you need to go up to this tool right here, okay? The pan behind tool, or Y. And when you click on that, you can basically take your anchor point and move it to where you want it to be. Okay? So then it won't be in the middle as an anchor point for rotating it. It'll be higher or lower. So now if you look, notice it moved. See the nose? See the nose moving along the anchor point? And now it's going across. Yeah, and the bottom circle Moved with it, why? I made a mistake. Yeah, I made the nose in the same layer as the bottom. And that's why it followed the bottom. <laughs> so learn from my mistake. Make sure you put them in separate layers and don't and make sure you name them.